Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. My name is Christina. This is the extended for Scorpio. So if you haven't watched the first part, go watch that first and come back here. Um, so the final part of your reading today, Scorpio, is where is an area of growth for you? I feel like this is for both of you because because of this, the connection between the two of you is so strong and there's that card, where is it? Where, where the hands are sort of connected by the threads. I feel like even if they haven't come in yet, because it feels like they haven't, or or if they have, um, it, it, it's not quite official is kind of how it's feeling. It's not quite official, but it is moving in that direction. But I feel like for you, Scorpio, because there's this sort of element of like, um, with the high priestess of having to perhaps take a pause or put up a boundary or, or kind of like not engage with this fully, um, there's an aspect here of like, you are absolutely sort of connected already, even if it's not sort of official, um, that you can sort of send your energy or intention into the connection to sort of almost like ask this one to like slow down or to shift their energy that, that when they do come in, it's not going to be so destabilizing for you because it, <laughs> the first two cards to come out were um, the bee and the whale, which is their energy, right? It's like they, they were coming in with all of this sort of fire, which is talking about like very quick change, but also a lot of energy, right? A lot of like shifting energy that you sort of just went through. It's kind of like you already went through that sort of like burning down rebuilding process that if they were to come in with that same energy of like burning down rebuilding it would be too much for it would burn you it would burn you in some way or or harm you in some way not harm but it it would it would just not be an effective sort of way to come at you basically and so it's kind of asking them to shift their energy so that it's kind of because this whale here is still incredibly powerful like what i was getting with this is that how their energy is feeling to you is that they're coming in as like when you go whale watching a whale just suddenly bursts out in front of your ship as exciting and amazing that would be it's still a shock right and it's like what so they can keep that aspect of it the, the amazing sort of shock and opportunity not shock the amazing sort of surprise and opportunity that it's coming through with but to shift from fire into water so more of like an emotional approach is kind of how it's feeling because it perhaps they're coming in with a lot of passion right like fire can be so much passion anything that's sort of like very quick very chain like um energy filled that kind of thing so the whale is still that it still has that sort of like big energy, like perhaps they're wanting to make a big gesture or of some sort is kind of how it feels like a big gesture. Um, but doing it with more of a watery filter on it, which is like talking about emotions, right? Something that's more kind of like refreshing because what you just went through on your own, I want to say, is already you already did that sort of like fiery it's like needing a glass of water after you've gone through the desert what you're needing is water what you're needing is something to quench thirst not not something that's going to make you thirstier if that makes sense i have no idea what that if that is making sense or resonating to anybody but that's sort of what the shift is it's like you don't want or not that you don't want it i feel like you want this you want this opportunity you want this partnership but their energy is too much of what you already just went through and so you're needing almost the opposite um solution is kind of how it's coming through and i feel like they will recognize that because they're also needing to come in with this b energy of recognizing that where you are right now is this firefly right so as, as strong and powerful as you are, Scorpio, you're still so, how you are feeling anyway, right? It's like how you are feeling is that you're in a rebuilding phase, right? You're rebuild, you're building something or building up something. And so 
for them to sort of come in with all of this sort of like transformational, I'm gonna burn down every single obstacle to get to you, that kind of energy, as lovely as that is, the intention behind it is beautiful, but it, it, it is not productive to your goals at the moment. It's kind of how it's coming through. Instead of offering, or it's not off, it's, they need to shift their, their energy basically. <laughs> so how I'm just going to leave it and meet you in sort of where you are, right? Where you are is this sort of like building, right? It's like, they, so they need to come to you in this sort of like bee energy of like perhaps sweetness. I always see bees as being really sweet. Um, but because I was talking about the rebuilding, it's like perhaps assisting in the rebuild because it's community based, right? The bees all about community, um, working together, the sort of hive kind of mentality. I feel like that's sort of what would be a more beneficial kind of energy to come with, come to you with, because right now they're saying that what their energy is, is telling you is we're going to, break down every single obstacle to make this partnership work. And that is not congruent with your energy of, I have to rebuild a whole bunch of things in my life right now that, that just, it would be more helpful if, if there was assistance rather than more breaking down. Cause I just did that. And that's exhausted that like having to go through that again is going to feel exhausting, perhaps something like that. Okay. Um, so that that's sort of how they can shift their their energy for you i want to say is that it's going to be this the frog and the the moth so if you just like remember like i'm not going to hold them all up again because i don't have enough hands but um the energy in like your current energy and the and the focus was also that red orange but now it's shifting into this green blue energy right it's like all this green yellow kind of um energy which is lovely so that it's it's wanting to shift more from like a root chakra kind of passion fiery energy into something that's more heart heart based heart connection kind of uh shift i feel like that would be more beneficial for you scorpios if if they come to you with their heart rather than their passion is kind of how it's feeling um but with the frog it talks about for you, Scorpio, of how to sort of be more receptive to this, like in preparing yourself, because they're they're showing up regardless, right? They're going to show up. It is going to be sort of um, destabilizing to an extent, but now that you know that it's coming, you can sort of prepare for that a little bit better. And the frog talks to me about like an open exchange of like being sort of vulnerable in terms of like breathing through your skin right it's like having sort of the the openness to be like this is my situation right now um it's not perhaps where i would like to be or like just like explaining what it is that you're going through so that they can have this response right it's like like because the moth talks about having to sort of navigate through uncertainty I feel like that's sort of where you are or how you're feeling anyway it's like having to sort of shift or or <laughs> bring together the two self-concepts like your self-concept and their image of you trying to bring that more into um, alignment because there is a sort of mismatch in how they're seeing you and how you feel about yourself um, and I feel like if you are explaining that, Scorpio, if you explain, like, this is all very nice and I appreciate that kind of thing, but that's not, that's, like, there's something about how they are perceiving you that is misaligned with how you are seeing yourself. And having to sort of bring those two ideas together is kind of how. But it is, it is going to work out, right? It's like, there, there's all... Because you're matching each other. You are absolutely matching each other with this sort of like air and water, right? The elements are all there to sort of make this partnership, union happen. However, it's just needing to align the two ideas or the, the final product or what it is that 
they can do for you and how you can also assist them in this partnership, right? It's like there's there's misaligned goals or misaligned something that is causing sort of destabilization within you, Scorpio. Um, okay, so you have here the awareness and the emotions. And I feel like that's what this is talking about is like making clear this sort of emotional state that you're in because you are absolutely in a really positive energy, Scorpio, right? It's like, even if you had to sort of start over or start something new or whatever it is, um, you have all this ability and motivation and, and willpower to do it and you're doing it successfully. Um, but that still does not mean that um, you are prepared for whatever it is that they're trying to bring to you with this emotions energy, it's like they, there is still some, because this emotional energy is kind of like, it's coming through with so much. Um, it's been recently talking to me about like shifting your focus from one really beautiful sort of energy or, or display and moving on to something completely new, right? Like having to make that shift can be, uh, like, it's kind of like if you're in a theater for a really long time and then you come outside and it's super bright out, right? Still, if you went to the movies in the middle of the day, where it's kind of like you're having to adjust to the new light and it, it's, it, it's, it can hurt your eyes at first, right? And so it's kind of like making them aware of, of the fact that this newness for you is a bit too intense, is kind of how it's feeling, right? It's it's too intense on some level for you. And so they're having to sort of pull back a little bit and meet you on on your level, right? Right now, because you can't just jump from, from Firefly into what it is they're wanting you to be or expecting you to receive them with or something like that. Um, and I feel like they will they will sort of shift, they, they will shift their energies, kind of how it, it's talking about there, because this resolutions card, I see this as sort of being like, um, because it talks about like anticipating a, f like a final challenge or like a really big sort of challenge, right? And I feel like that's sort of the energy that it feels like to you, Scorpio, because it, it's they're coming in so strongly, even though it's all positive, it's all sort of love-based, their energy is so strong that it feels like, th like a threat <laughs> or it feels like a really big sort of challenge or too much st like light that it's actually blinding you, that kind of thing. And so it's kind of like they are stepping back. They are needing to sort of... Um, shift their energy for sure um because it's it's causing this right in in you and i feel like they're recognizing that it's like all of this sort of uh a shift or or disturbance is centered around this queen of cup or queen of voices right it's like their their energy is the direct cause of your sort of destabilizing emotional state a, a destabilizing of your emotional state um, and I feel like that once they understand that and recognize that, they will sort of pull back. And it, if it is causing some sort of, because how I'm seeing this is, is like the boat it talks about that sort of like having to rebalance or having to rely on sort of um, calming your waters after a sort of destabilizing event. If it is causing that, Scorpio, if you're feeling any sort of like anger, resent I don't feel that you are. It doesn't feel like anger or resentment. It feels just more like having to use a lot of focus to sort of maintain balance. It's also remembering that um, to be compassionate, that they that if they are coming in with a really strong energy, they're not doing it to sort of scare you or they're not doing it to sort of throw you off balance on purpose, that's not their intent at all, is to have compassion. Because I'm also seeing this one as being like, taking responsibility, like, like my bad. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that that was how I was coming through. Um, having compassion for that, because I do think that they are understanding that, that their energy can be 
a lot, right? And then you have here the hanged man, which is what what I feel like they're doing. I feel like because perhaps that they, they have a lot of goals or intentions or like plans that they want to sort of accomplish with you with this sort of partnership energy um, that they're having to sort of um, hold back a little bit, but also slow down. Because <laughs> uh, the hangman talks about having to sort of take a pause that they need to sort of reevaluate what it is that is actually possible here in this partnership because you are not in the place that you can give them what it is that they thought that you can give them is kind of how, like it not not at all sort of a judgment on you Scorpio because you are doing absolutely everything that you can is kind of how it feels you know that your own energy right now is not in the place to receive whatever it is that they have planned for you or planned for this partnership I should say um, and so they are needing to have to reevaluate re go back pull their energy back and and rethink something about what this partnership or dynamic is going to look like. And I feel like it, it perhaps is just talking about um, patience on their part as well with the hanged man, because you are coming through with this, this kindness energy, which is, which is, I knew this card was going to come out today. It's like this high priestess, right? It's like, there's something about your energy that is saying like, hold up a little bit which is absolutely right for you, Scorpio. Like you, you know your own self, you know your boundaries, you know what it is you can handle at the moment. Um, but it is sort of like, once they do that, once they sort of realize that they, they have to pull back, um, you can meet them in this energy with the kindness, right? It's like, instead of having the hand out, instead of having the barrier, you're coming at them with with openness, right? With your heart also, in this and involved in this. Um, but this card also comes with the message of live slow, of taking things slowly and being kind to yourself, but also they are needing to come to you with this energy, right? They, they can't sort of like be in this sort of, uh, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. It's a very specific like riling up or like ruffling your feathers kind of thing. Because they're, an, it's just like a helicopter. You know how helicopters, when they land, that kind of stirs up everything because of the force of the movement, right? Um, there's that kind of thing. Uh, but then you also have here the seven of inspiration and the six of materials. So this one talks to me absolutely about coming together, co-creation, the partnership and creating something out of it. So absolutely that is sort of your your goal or intention or if it's not it's like asking you to consider that Scorpio of like this is a really positive partnership or thing that you can grow and develop and and be in that will have benefit for you. But it's like you're having to sort of make space for that is kind of how the seven of inspiration is of like having to develop this firefly element right because it's like the firefly is is sort of doing this already it's like the beginning processes of sort of holding back any sort of darkness in quotation marks um but the firefly does have that flickering and so you have to you, Scorpio, have to get into the place of not letting your light or your vision or your self-image get lost in whatever this partnership could be. Because I feel like because their energy is so strong and so dominant and so well-established, perhaps, there is sort of a risk of you losing yourself or your goals, your independence, to the partnership, if that makes sense. It's like the, if, if you have to get to a point, Scorpio, where your energy is always going to maintain your own inner balance without the flickering, without the sort of like in and out or unsureness or instability that can happen if you are in this partnership that 
Like, you don't want their energy to sort of dominate yours or take over the partnership is kind of how it's feeling. That's sort of where where it is that you can grow, Scorpio, of, like, learning or establishing your sense of self so strongly that even if another dominant energy enters into your space, you can still maintain your sense of self, basically. Okay, Scorpio, we're going to end with the Moonology card. So the first one out was a new romantic cycle begins, the new moon in Libra. So if it's not a romantic uh, romantic partnership, it's just a new partnership, a new partnership cycle begins. And then you have conclusions are within reach, the full moon eclipse. You and your loved ones are safe, the new moon in Cancer. Believe in the impossible, the blue moon, and the answers that you need are coming, the full moon in Gemini. So Scorpio, I'm going to end it there for your reading. Uh, I do have other videos if you're interested in checking those out. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.